Hey guys, it's John, and today we are playing Contempt. This is a free short indie horror game available on Itch.io and Game Jolt, and it was created by a solo developer as a student project in about nine weeks. I may be getting the numbers wrong there, but all the information is in the link below to download the game and read up on how it was developed. So let's go ahead and start it. This looks pretty promising. It kind of reminds me of the Resident Evil 7 demo and PT, just from the screenshots. So I'm hoping that it doesn't have a looping hallway gimmick, but we can never tell for sure till we get into it. Okay, so looks like we drove out to a creepy house in the middle of nowhere at night, which is fairly standard horror protagonist behavior. Well, we can't get into the house, uh, so I guess it's the end of the game. Very short. I like making that crappy joke in as many videos as I can. Just, you know, get stuck. Oh, the game's over. Okay. Well, if this is the key to the front door, I have to say, security around here is pretty lax. I guess they're pretty confident they won't have any thieves. Oh yeah, this is... This is a very RE7 entryway. We got ourselves a PT desk here with a phone. Am I gonna get spooked, guys? This looks pretty promising so far. This kitchen is a mess, wow. Shut the front door. I think they shut the front door. Oh, I thought something was crawling on the ceiling, but those are moths. Great. <laughs> what did he say? News. Uh, gave Sid some hugs. Really? That's... Must have been a slow news day. Sid received some hugs today. He hadn't received hugs in... A long time, so he was very grateful to get them. I don't think that's actually what it said, but it sure looked like it. Okay. This is a horrendous shower curtain. You should be ashamed of yourself. This is the scariest thing in this game so far. I don't think there's anything to pick up around here. But this place is definitely a mess. Alright, let's... Excuse me. <laughs> what? Should I go in there? It's red in there, so, you know. Are you developing film in here? I guess that's why it's red. Okay, I guess it's safe, right? Just developing some film. I press E to interact. And it, it kind of just froze. <laughs> it totally froze. That's a tension killer. Oh, okay. Weird. Um, it froze like five times in a row when I tried to press E to interact there. Just something for the developer to be aware of, I guess. Okay, so we turn the power on. Are any of these doors unlocked now? Ooh! Ooh! This one is. Um okay, we can uh we can turn this off, right? Probably. Oh. What's that sound? Yeah, sure. Okay. Hello? Oh! The picture's eyes moved. A 
Okay. I, at this point, I, I'd say we we should we should definitely fuck off. Yeah? No? You don't want to do that, huh? Okay. Well, you know, that's totally fine. Uh, can we go upstairs now? Actually, I haven't done that yet. Unless there's something for us to do in here. I do want to see what's up up here. There's another phone. There's an aching deep inside that no longer I can hide, and it's telling me once more it's time to roam. But I cannot tell when I'll be coming home. Very well. See, there's the North Star guiding me, and a light on the horizon showing where I long to be. I travel on. Who's controlling this? Was that you, protagonist? Because those were some odd choices, I gotta say. I think we should just go. I think that we've seen enough. We've seen all we need to see. We don't need to go down this hallway. That's fine. That's fine. Hey, the moths are fine though. Those are some that's some signs of life here. Is this where I came up? Oh yeah, except I didn't try to get in either of these doors. Maybe I should try that now. No? Okay. This though? This door? Uh... Wow. Let's just The house is farting. Great. I don't know what that was. It, it, it sounds kind of like no one's here. No one is here. Bye bye. Uh, wow, this person really likes uh, video cassettes from that branch in particular. They can record uh, murder she wrote on them uh, and continue to live in the 1980s forever. Perfect. Like, dude, maybe we should go back through here. You want to mess with me, huh? Oh, th this is exactly what I thought it sounded like. Wow. Okay. Let's go up into the attic. What's the worst that could happen? Yes. That's the picture I choose to frame and put up in the attic. Great choice. Why would you ever frame this? Okay. Who framed that? That's the real question. What are we doing? What are we doing here? What? What? What's... What's keeping me going? Whoa! Oh, dude, let's totally go back to the car. Thanks. How do we get back here? I'm not going to question it. Um. Okay. I've heard this little piano medley before in other games. It's like a uh, public domain, I think. Uh, that was really, really excellent. That was great. Oh, boy. 
I like how you know what I really like about that game. I like how you go from the entrance all the way to the attic. It's a very simple journey, but it gets like the hallways get narrower and the atmosphere gets more foreboding the deeper into the house that you go. That is terrific. Um, not sure how it could be spun into a full game. I think it works really well as a 10 minute experience here, but I'm just wondering if they made a full game out of this, like a full length. When I say full length, I mean like for a game like this, I would say like two hours. Cause I don't know, unless they added a bunch of different mechanics to it and you know, uh, tried to really blow it out. I don't think it should be any longer than that. Um, and that's maximum. I, I think it's, it's really good though, as is. And I honestly don't know if I'd change anything. I did have that frustrating bug in the beginning with the closet and the power, but beyond that very satisfactory experience um it's amazing to me how many great free indie horror experiences there are out there that are like 10 20 30 minutes long uh like there are better free horror experiences than there are premium horror experiences in gaming i think it says a lot about the state of horror games at the moment very sad but i uh, really enjoyed this i can't believe that i enjoyed that 10 minutes more than the entirety of the 23 dollars perception um kind of blows my mind but let me know what you thought in the comments and yeah i will see you in the next video think critically